So here's our multiband compressor. A multiband compressor is essentially four or however many bands there are. In this case, it's a four band, four band compressor. So you'll notice we've got the lows, the low mids, the high mids, and the highs. And these are the different components, our threshold, our ratio, our attack, and our release. We can kind of go through. There, I'm soloing. Now, if I go up here, I can adjust. I can focus in on just the low. And I can set this up on how I want the compressor to react to just the low frequencies. Do I want it to be over compressed? How compressed do I want it to be? Now, it's kind of hard to do without listening to uh, the other sections. So here I can set this low mid up. So there's the auto button for the release. Let's go back and look at our um, multiband compressor. It's a great sounding compressor, but I can't figure out, there's no way to solo more than one one band at a time, which is kind of annoying. I can bypass certain bands. I guess. So there's just the high-end frequencies, hi-hats, crash cymbals. And you can adjust these if you, you know, if you really So there, if you look, my overall output is at minus two at this point. As you can see by making these subtle adjustments, it's frequency dependent compression, which is a really, really cool concept. I'm gonna shift.